we rang in the new year 1990 in a booth at Denny's. It was my fault. A youth group lock-in was planned in our Middle America megachurch gymnasium. I was in a Christian rock band and we were scheduled to play. I wanted to go big, so I bedazzled a jacket that said Jesus on the back. My hair was teased and solidified with Aussie sprunch spray. As a surprise for the evening, I taped a smoke bomb to the back of my guitar, and my plan was to shoot a plume of smoke while I played a guitar solo. I lit the smoke bomb, and almost immediately the gym was filled with thick, toxic smoke. It hurt to breathe. People were running for the exits, and one kid had an asthma attack. They called an ambulance. Even after the smoke cleared, it stunk, and people began to relocate to Showbiz Pizza. We played skee-ball and traded in tickets for plastic dinosaurs and slap bracelets. They closed at 10 and we headed for Denny's. We counted down to midnight and it was 1990. The 90s. It sounded like the future. I had no idea how much the decade would transform me. We sat there until the sun came up talking about who we thought we'd become. By this point, I was fully aware of my dark secret. And the truth was, I was terrified of who I might become. So I made up a story about someone who wasn't me. As each year of that decade passed, I grew more into the thing I was terrified of. And with each year, less afraid. <laughs>